Hello, my name is Ethan, and welcome back to another episode of Path of Exile Delirium League 3.10. So in this episode, uh, due to a lot of interest uh, recently about how good a carry-on golem version of my build is, I put one together. So what we did is we swapped out the, carry, uh, the, the stone golem and the uh, weapon, and so we have a carry-on golem, and so... Um, this amulet would technically have to be intelligence skill gems to get the extra level instead of physical skill gems. That's the first thing I noticed, but anyways, uh, so it's the carry-on golem with the normal six link, so awaken minion damage, awaken melee fizz, awaken brutality, awaken multi-strike, and empower four in my crazy fortified double corrupted weapon. And we took out chaos golem to make room for the stone golem in the boot. So I put the stone golem in the boot instead, so we lose the physical damage reduction, but we still have five carry-on golems. And then because the carry-on golem, basically its main attack is AoE, and uh, so it has built-in AoE, and it doesn't have a cooldown, like it's not a skill, um, you don't need primordial harmonies. So I took out the primordial harmonies and put all eminence, so his leap slam and his cascade, which is the bone move, is on a four second cooldown, so you won't have bleeding eyes okay so next i'll show you the pob so i put together the pob and all the changes and everything and the damage is 1.6 million per so total for the five carry on golems this is 8 million our stone golems were at about uh 40 total so this is a lot less damage than carry on golem i mean than uh stone golem but their clear might be better so now let's try out the carry on golem and find out how good it actually is enjoy the clips after just a little bit of testing but we can no matter what see that the damage was five times less and so like yeah it's pretty weird that uh carry on golems do so little damage but their clear is really cool like they have a leap slam they have the cascade they got a bunch they're pretty pretty aggressive because they have primordial might built-in feeding frenzy this also got the influence on the map veritania i believe um, which is pretty cool. So now I'll pop my delirium, see what we get. Bonus. Pog. Okay, I wanted to try an elder. Okay, let's test. Wow, uh, so that's some Alright, we're near the end of the elder. I started again to so watch the thorns that appear. Look at that! Look at that attack! That is so cool! So if you ran harmonies, you would have a million thorns because the cooldown would go down. This one's the cooldown, so the normal attack doesn't make the thorns, I don't think. It's uh, just this thing on a cooldown, yeah. So we have to move over to the bubble. We completed an Elder on this build. Pog, let's see the damage. Okay. Fragment of Emptiness and... A Leather Belt. Okay, so we did the Elder, and I was like, I need a Shaper Frag, but I'm not going to do the Shaper, because the Shaper is honestly not that great of a build showcase. To uh, I, I like the Elder, because it's like more clear, it's like just that fight, and uh, it makes more sense, whereas the, the Shaper having those other bosses and having to do the run-through and all that, kind of annoying. Either way, Uber Elder with the carry-on golems just straight up as is. So we start the timer as soon as I run through, so I'll run through at 30, 28, 29... 30 let's go we started the fight let's uh see how we can do and what our time is going to be with the carry on golem so this is going to be a really big defining feature for like how much damage difference is in this one compared to the uh the stone golems so i think this is going to tell us a lot about about our damage and uh i think it's going to be really eye-opening possibly but yeah this is the main point of playing the carry on golems is for the clear not for um not for its boss killing, actually. So I'm putting it through the ringer. I'm literally putting it through the worst case scenarios for it. And if it can still perform in these bosses, then technically it starts to look really, really good. Um, because obviously, well, technically you could always use carry on. It does do less, but what if? The rest of the functionality of the carry on golem makes it feel better. Also, there's another part where I don't have a chaos golem right now, so I'm actually missing the physical damage reduction, and uh, and uh, I don't know how you would uh, run three, because then you run one less carry on, and then, so instead of <laughs> instead of four, I mean five, I'd have four, uh, twenty percent less. Uh, that's a big number, you know. That's a lot. Um. That'd be pretty scary. So we got the beam, we have portals, 
Deal with the portals, deal with the portals, deal with the portals. Dodge the shaper balls. I wonder what the time's gonna be. It's pretty cool for now. Parion Golem's got some mighty clear, dude. And this is all eminence. No um no harmony, so it's it's maybe cheaper and easier to do. Okay, so he's in his final phase. Come on. Pop. What is this delay? Okay. He got some extra time. We got a 225. Oh my god, 155. We got a sub 2 with carry on golem. They're not that bad. And we got a prismatic. Dude, they're not that bad, actually. Dude. Dude, they're actually, like, okay, so P.O.B. tells us one thing, but actually playing them in game is telling me something else. Because that was with a delay on the final, what the hell? I think P.O.B. might be wrong? I'm not sure. Oh, oh yeah, uh, really important part. We got a watcher's eye, so let's un unveil it together. Boom! Pride, grace, anger. We got a pride. We got impale too. It's not the worst thing. Steel ring, and then this uh, 86 uh, Eternal Burgonet. Now for the bonus part of that clip. So Eternal Burgonet, if you were wondering, is 1 to 2C, so it's not really worth keeping. But it showed on my filter. The next thing is Impale Hits, Search, 135, 10x, 10, 11. Okay, that seems pretty obvious. That's really good. We did really good on that. Okay, now if you combine it with the Grace... You get 189x listed two months ago, so probably not good. And then the leech, uh, you get four results and 10, 15. Yeah, so you could really put this at anything above 10, 11. This is at least 11x, so pretty pog. Uh, 11x, watcher's eye, easy clap. And we're back with the blight map now. And we're tier 16, blight summit, easy clap. Uh, look at the carry on golem performance. Okay, so we're also gonna get hit by a fireball here. It's only 2,000 damage. It's beautiful. Okay, so yeah, we have the carry on golems. And now I will mention that this isn't my first rodeo on this. I, this is my third one. I test when I do these kind of things. I like to test to make sure that it's consistent so that what I'm putting out is solid. And so carry on golems are um, outperforming the POB. There's no way. It's impossible, okay? What we're looking at is easily over 10 million. There's no way that it's 1.6 per and it's only 8 million. It's bullshit. There's no way POB path of building is right on carry on golems. We're talking like 20, 30. They're melting. They're getting the same kill time on Uber Alder. They're, they're mass clearing uh, tier 16 blight without any problem when a boss comes near they literally get melted they the bosses shouldn't be getting melted with that kind of damage they should be getting close i should be worried i should be getting pump durability damage no carry on golems seem to be busted and don't show correctly in pob i don't know why i don't know what to say um this is pretty stupid uh, a little bit mind-blowing. Anyways, just to go over some side thing is uh, tier 16 blight. Uh, this is two crimson, one black. I recommend triple teal, but I'm running two crimson, one black because I dropped a mirror this season. And after dropping the mirror, I said, okay, we're good. We dropped it on a triple teal t tier 15. Now that we dropped a mirror, now I want to get the double mirror again. So just like last season, I started doing this for the rest of the season. And so I try to get the double drop. So when you run black or gold oil, you get a chance for blight just to drop an additional reward and what this means is like if you drop an x you have a chance to drop double x or double ancient orbs or double divine orbs and double mirrors uh that's the dream um someone actually when i said that in stream they were like let's take it one step further you play simulacrum you drop a one node voices it's like two mirrors oh shit you're right dude it was genius but either way i don't know what to say about these carry on golems except uh this shit ain't right there's no way it's there's no way which then this makes me question everything in the game okay so is tier 16 nerf this season does tier 16 actually drop more gold than x now did they change the drop did they did they change our maps 
because they don't feel the same as they did last season. We drop way less 21-23s. The game, um, I'm going to start tinfoil hatting all of my theories. I don't think P.O.B. is right. I think you should always go off of in-game experiences rather than what P.O.B. says. Now for sure. Um, P.O.B. is just um, an initial guide, but fuck me, this is silly, dude. I don't, there's no way that this is 8 million. Either way, now we're going to loot the blight map, because we all know that's what you guys came for, or you stay for. <laughs> you come for the carry-on golems, you find out they're insane, but really, we're looting a blight map together. How you guys doing? Uh, let's get, we're going to get so many stag dicks from these. Oh my god, this is going to be sick. I was thinking in my last map, I was like, dude, I had like double Parandis and uh, item uh, talismans. And all these junk chests, it was actually so bad. And I was like, imagine an entire map of, like, Parandas and all the bad chests, and you literally don't have any loot on your map. Like, I wonder if that's ever happened to somebody. Imagine you play your first Blight map and that happened. You'd actually think it sucked. Just because of RNG of the chests. You better run more lucky chests, dude. Get that triple silver for the 15 or 18 lucky chests if you have the Awakener 8 bonus with the Awakening bonus. Uh, objective thing, 112. Easy. Okay. Let's check these divs, like I said. Stack decks, what? That's it? Like, six, seven? That's it, dude? At least that pays for the map if they're 3C per. Easy clap. Maps are like 25 to 30C. I was paying bulk and uh, to get 140, and now I have like 100. I had 180. Uh, tier 16s is pretty gross most i've ever had and it's really fun i love this league this is literally blight 3.0 every league blight has been getting better and better I, I even though i think either the drops are worthless because they're farmed more or they nerfed blight drops which i feel like they nerfed blight drops easy clock all right, and now it's time. Tier 16 tower with 100% delirious, full blight, harbinger, gilded elder, gilded div, gilded legion with tier 19, uh, fully sextant up. Let's go and try out. We'll even add, uh, hmm, uh, where domination, and I'm gonna also add a beast. There we go, let's try out this crazy map with the, just the carry-on golems. Let's find out how good they really are. This is going to be an interesting, this might be really laggy, dude. Okay, uh, I should probably just close that because it's, it's huge. So this is tier 19, item level 86, uh, fully blighted, juiced up. Let's uh, try out this, this carry-on golem damage uh, clear on a tower map uh they seem to be killing they are we got one we we almost get one okay uh we're gonna lose our ag let's not do that uh yeah genius took it out okay we got divine vessel orb of alteration uh it seems to have the damage to clear the tier 19 100 delirious blight but it's struggling it's def oh we already got a blighted summit okay uh-huh easy clap already one tier 16 blight easy easy <laughs> uh this is really really slow this is really slow uh we're doing it dude we are doing it let's just stand here and wait <laughs> oh my god we're doing it this is Ooh. Uh, yeah, so 100% delirious, tier 19, sextants, all that, all the juice, uh, they're doing it. They're able to do it. It's just like stones, I guess, in that sense. But yeah, in this case, does seem like they're kind of low damage. Not gonna lie. Uh, this seems pretty low. This is like every single monster's a boss, and I think the stone golems excelled in here way more than, uh, than these carry-on golems. It is really nice, actually, to see how I'm not dying, even though I am. I have no Chaos Golem. That's kind of cool. 
I thought I would just rip and rip and rip and not be able to do anything. Let's try out the Legion. Oh shit. Okay, let's try it. We didn't really get to clear the Legion. My bad. We have a beast. Yeah, I'm gonna call this uh, not good damage. So maybe it is right, but somehow on Blight I just needed... I don't know actually, I don't know why. Overall, they could def definitely clear this, but we'll, we'll see on another Legion or Harbingers and shit. We'll just keep testing it a bit. We'll decide in a second. Since this is the final test anyways, just take our time, see what see what it's like. See if we can full clear. Why not? Let's try it. Um, no point in forcing it to, to die and struggle, right? Might as well try to clear it. Make make the clip out of it. Okay. This is slow. This is just the first room still. I'm pretty sure my stone golems did better, and it was just literally damage. It wasn't even... it Like, clear speed doesn't matter here. It's it's just pure damage. I've just not enough... Not enough damage. And so it would really... It would really help to have stones here, probably. Oh, what I should do is clear this first one, switch the build to the stone golems, and do the exact same map, but with stone golems and the chaos golem to show the difference. That's a really good idea. All right, I'll do that and uh, come back with the clip. All right, we fully switched the build back. We have the stone golems in, we have the chaos golem. We have uh, still no AG, I won't bring it. We did four layers, the first room with the carry on golems to show the damage on this map. Now let's show off the stone golem -y dudes. Here we go with harmonies and all that. And let's test out their, yeah, wow. Um, when they get on, they insta-kill. Um, yeah, I think we're noticing the damage difference now. Okay, let's find out. Yeah, look at those slams. Look at how powerful... My god damn, they're one-shotting. <laughs> they're like one-shotting, bro. Oh, here's a boss. Let's, t let's show the boss damage. Yeah, there's definitely... Okay, okay, I take back what I said. There's definitely a difference in in damage, big big difference. Uh, but yeah, the carry on golems actually have insane clear to where they clear blight really well. Um, it's really impressive how they could clear blight on lower lower damage than zombies and K K uh, stone golem because they clear better. So that's really cool actually. Uh, you don't need as much damage apparently because they leap slam onto bosses and shit. But yeah, this is you, this. You really do need more damage, and uh, man, the stone golems, the stone golems, the stony golems. Easy slam. Look at that clear, man. Boom, 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 boom. They're pretty comparable though, because of the clear difference. But then the benefit with this is you have stone and, and chaos, and so you're tankier overall, and you have more damage, more boss damage. Your clear is fine because of the extra slams anyways, and you have the, oh my god, a nurse, it worked. Easy clap. That was the point of this actually, why you do this map is to farm nurses on the tower with your super juicy map while also getting blight maps, while also getting this is the juice. This is how you, um, fast map Kappa. It's like bosses every second, but they're just normal monsters. But they are they act like bosses because they're so tanky. This is fun. And then you can... Alright, so the takeaway from the video is that carry-on golems are way better than I expected. Uh, kind of surprising. Uh, I will show you the POB and go through the build real quick. So, carry on golem uh, with empower, awaken brutality, awaken multi strike, awaken melee fizz, and awaken minion damage. My four link stone golem in the boot, 
uh, Stone Golem, Feeding Frenzy, Maim, and Power. Our Animate Guardian set up with the with a Spectre in the helmet. Race Spectre, Animate Guardian, and Power of Blood Magic. The Glove is Dread Banner, Awakened Generosity. Phase Run, Increased Duration. Uh, ring Clarity, Aspect of the Avians on the weapon. We use in the chest plate body armor with the plus two. Purity of Ice, Val Discipline, Purity of Lightning. Um, Enlightened, Purity of Fire, and Pride. And then we use a Flame Dash in the last ring. Uh, our skill tree is this. We use three large clusters with Rotting Claw, I mean, uh, Primordial Bond, Rotting Claws, and Renewal, but one of them has Feasting Fiends instead of Renewal because I got a 1% mana reserve. Um, and then we run one of these Pure Guile, Pure Might so that we get the mana reserve. And we run uh, two of these Renewal Dread March mediums for extra mana reserve and the survivability of the minions. Um, this was my choice of skill tree. In this build, I went for all eminence, um, except for two harmonies. And uh, I find that these two harmonies actually do more damage than another eminence for the carry-on golems. Uh, so that's pretty cool. So it's funny how it's the opposite in this one compared to the stone golems. And uh, the point is, the combo attack is the highest damage, and it's the one you want, and it's based on attacks. Uh, whereas Cascade is the bone move, the spikes, and it's only 689, and Leap Slam is the obviously leaping, and it's 1.2. And so if you if you mix it up with more harmonies, you do less damage. So this was my choice. And then for items, we have our double corrupted fortify weapon, uh, the plus three, well, stone golem enchant, bone helmet, item level uh, 100 with plus three minion gems, minion life, minion damage, and then int. Uh, Saka walls with plus two aura and reduced crit. Uh, we have ES int glove, ES int boot with move speed, uh, plus one physical, and it would be plus one intelligence skill gems. The strength skill gems doesn't work on the carry on golem. This was for the stone golem, so this isn't the best in slot. Uh, then we have two unset rings with uh, int, dex, es, minion damage, and endurance charge. Um, the Stygian Vice with a Ghastly Jewel, it's increased attributes, uh, ES, increased ES, Pog, in, in it we put ES and this Chance to Blind with a 1% mana reserve, uh, and then we use, like I said, a bunch of Eminence, uh, it looks like 5 or 6, may, maybe, maybe more, and then 2 Harmonies, 1 Enema Stone, 1 Primordial Might, the Watcher's Eye is... Um, Clarity Watcher's Eye, because we're an ESCI build. Um, and then we have 10% of Fizz from hits taken as Lightning and Burning Ground Immunity. So that's the overall build. Uh, the, the Flask, we use Divine Flask, um, Divine Mana Flask. This is um, the Enduring, so it makes it last. Um, it doesn't go away at full mana, and it makes you immune to curses for, for 3.5 seconds, so it's really fun. Uh, curse immunity. I also run it on the basalt flask for more uptime. Uh, Rumi's concoction, pog champ, uh, and then we use the silver flask and the quicksilver for move speed. This gives us onslaught, bleed immunity. This gives us move speed, move speed, and uh, that's the overall build. We kill all the bandits. The pantheons are that I use are Lunaris and Gruthkull because uh, Lunaris for all of this, Pog, 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 Gruthkull for the physical damage when you've taken hits and the attack speed's slow. I don't use Abareth because we're already immune to Burning Ground from the Watcher's Eye. And uh, you don't need you don't need uh, Shikari because we're, um, we're immune to Chaos Damage because we're CI. So that's the overall build. That's the Carry On Golems. Pog, hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Uh, thank you guys for all the support. Uh, thank you guys for coming on and enjoying the video. Thank you guys to anyone new who joins the Patreon or the YouTube members today. And thank you guys for all the support. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye!